Supply-side policies are designed to increase the productive potential of the economy like education and training will increase labor productivity, reforming trade unions may make labor more productive, and privatization may increase productive capacity as private firms generally invest more and work more efficiently than state-owned enterprises. Most supply-side policies aim to enable the free market to work more efficiently in an attempt to promote employment, low inflation and economic growth. 1. Privatization. Privatization is the selling of state-owned businesses to private individuals and groups. This increases the efficiency of these organizations as they face more competition. Profit motive increases the incentive to utilize the resources in the best possible way. 2. Deregulation. Deregulation involves reducing barriers to entry in order to make the market more competitive. It does away with unnecessary rules and regulations on businesses which results in reduced cost, increased output and lower prices. Moreover, it increases the competition in the economy, leading to higher efficiency for businesses. 3. Increased education and training. Improving the level of education, training and skills of the workforce will raise the labor productivity and increase the aggregate supply. Governments usually give a lot of importance to education and encourage more and more people to attend universities and colleges and enhance the skills of the workforce. 4. Labor Markets Reforms Labor benefits like minimum wage, high overtime pay, four-day work weeks can cause labor cost to rise and become inefficient as they increase labor cost. Reforming such benefits may bring down the cost of labor and increase the demand for labor thereby reducing structural unemployment and allowing them to be more efficiently used.